Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you my OBS settings. Now, my channel is not exactly meant for streaming. I mean, I don't stream much. That's mainly because I've been limited by my internet. And um, so ever since I came from Chennai, uh, from Bangalore, uh, I've been streaming on my hotspot. And that's not the best experience. I mean, that's been better than my usual Wi-Fi, but I won't say it's the best. So this is what you should know about the main difference on if you are streaming PUBG Mobile you have to know this is the main difference between the Wi-Fi and uh, Hotspot I and mean, especially when they are slow uh, Wi-Fi will directly kick you out of the game so if you are streaming uh, in PUBG Mobile and streaming your game will directly kick you out if, that, if your net lags too much but then in PUBG uh, but then if you are using Hotspot and if your internet is slow the game will start lagging but it won't kick you out so I would prefer the hotspot over the Wi-Fi because I don't want to get kicked out of the game, especially when I'm live streaming. So now my OBS setting is in, you have to go to settings. Now in general, you don't need to change anything. Everything is fine. Just keep it as that. Then you stream just what you want to stream on YouTube, obviously YouTube or Twitch or whatever you're into. And make sure you don't show the stream key because anyone who has your stream key can stream from your account. Then your output, here's where you should change. Now make sure, it, I think by default it will be in simple but you should keep it in advanced and stream and keep the, and make sure you're in streaming tab and audio track should be 1 and keep the x264 and if it's available for you keep x264 and uh, enable the info streaming service encoder settings now the bitrate now your bitrate is the most important part and by the way keep the rate controller at CBR and your bitrate is the most important part because uh, uh, it mainly depends on your internet. Main, I mean, which is, I mean, your upload speed. Now, um, the Wi-Fi which I am on, the upload speed has about 10 Mbps of, uh, you know, internet speed. I wouldn't say that's a. I mean, I can't really trust this because, um, because if it's at 10 Mbps, technically I can keep a total bitrate of 10,000, which is like really fast even for 1080p. I mean, sorry, for 480p. I'm sorry, 720p. Sorry, sorry. So sound tnp is like really fast but then it doesn't always work that way that's the reason but then my stream always like you know goes down maybe i think pubg mobile consumes a lot of internet i would say how my realistic internet is around 4 mps that's the reason i tend to keep a bit rate at 2000 it works for me and if your internet is lagging i would recommend you keep the 2000 bit rate and trust me guys you can take a look at my streams my stream is lagging yesterday my stream got cut off and uh, CPU usage so basically the more higher you go the less CPU you get used the lower you go the more CPU you get used now the thing is if you're only streaming I mean and not playing any games or anything like that maybe it's, then it's probably okay to go lower but then if you're playing games and streaming from the same computer the more higher you go the you know the shittier stream gets so I would recommend you keep somewhere between very fast and fast I would think that's a safe zone I prefer it very fast then audio just leave it at that it's all good then video and this is the base resolution basically what you are record I mean streaming from and this is the output what what you've been shown on YouTube or wherever I kept my output resolution at 480p because I mean that's what I'm gonna stream today on but usually I keep it 720p at 60 FPS if you want the best uh, you know scaling and if your net is fast keep it at uh, uh, La land cruisers whatever sharpen scaling for two samples but if your net is like you know slow extremely slow keep it bilinear but it'll be blurring if it gets scaling but at least I don't keep that I just prefer the big cubic I don't know if you guys I don't know if I'm pronouncing correctly but yeah keep it a big cubic that works for me then hotkeys you can just map it you know to switch scenes or to stop streaming start streaming and all that then in advance just keep the process priority to above normal and so this is basically my OBS setup which I use to stream on so if you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel I'll see you guys in the next video guys peace